Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 773. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 770 to 775, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, this is the second time I had to shoot this because I made an error in the first one. And uh, actually, the last three weeks I've been deathly sick, so the videos I'm shooting, I can't believe I haven't made more errors. Hey, in this video we have some uh, values here. They're actually codes, and the last digit represents the shift time. And so from this value we need to look up just the last digit, in this case 3. Go over here and have our lookup table and for 3 it represents the time 16 uh, to 0, 0. So these are the shifts, 0 to 8, 8 to 16, 16 to 0. So the first thing is we'll use um, VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is great because we can look something up in our example, the 1, the 2, the 3, come over to a table, race down the first column, find the item, jump over to the second column, and then take that item and return it to the cell. So look up value. Well, we can't just click there because that's the whole thing. We just need that one uh, number one there. So I'm going to use the write function. Now write, it, it has some text. We type a comma and the number of characters from the write. Ours is just one. Now, when I uh, highlight this and hit the F9 key, you could see it returns 1, but when you see a number in quotes like that, or anything in quotes, double quotes, that means Excel sees it as text. Now, text numbers won't match up to actual numbers. Now, you can tell these numbers are actual numbers because they're the visual cue is that they're aligned to the right. I'm going to control Z. For example, if I said, is that, and that evaluates to 1 as text, if I say, is that equal to 1? And if I evaluate this right now, it's going to say, are these two things equal? It'll say false. I'll say F9, false. And the reason why is because you can't equate number with number as text. But no problem. There's a cool way to deal with this. If I add 0, any operation on a number as text will convert the number back to number back to the actual number. So if I hit F9, you could see it's no longer in quotes. That means that 1 could be matched up with the 1 in this column. Control Z to undo that. So that's our lookup value. Comma, the table array is this right here. Now our first column contains the number we're looking up. The second column contains the value we want to return. I need to lock this because I'm going to copy this formula down. And this is actually the error I made in the first video. I forgot to hit the F4 key to lock that. Those dollar signs mean that is locked. So as we copy it down, the cell references won't move. By the way, that's a relative cell reference, right? And that means as the f this formula is copied down, that blue box will move. That's our table array, comma, the column index. The column which contains the item we want to return to the cell is 2. The lookup range, our range is sorted from smallest to biggest in ascending order, so we can just leave that out, the default. We can leave it out and it'll be just fine. So I'm not going to even put anything, close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. And what I forgot to do in the last video is, anytime you copy a formula, you go to the last cell and hit F2 and verify. Visually, you can verify with the uh, range finder here. You can see the blue and you can see the green is still stuck or locked on the same range. All right, we'll see you next trick.